My name is Michael, and I'm from New York. Uh, my name is Hannah, and I'm from Cambridge. We are teaching in Jinwin and Lishui County in Zhejiang. We teach at Jinwin High School, and it's um, Gao grade one, so it's like 10th grade in the US. We um, wanted to spend a year traveling. We had been traveling for a year before coming here, and we wanted to go somewhere completely new. And we decided on China because uh, well, different reasons for both of us, I think, but for me, um, I was really interested to learn a bit more about Chinese culture, because we hear a lot about China on the news in the U.S., but it's always one type of news, and it's um, often pretty negative. Um, and so I was interested to learn more about um, what daily life is like with people and to meet people in China. I was also very interested in learning the language because um, it's become a very important world power and I think the language would be very useful to know. Um, yeah, I had a lot of similar reasons. I think um, the big one being that we hear a lot about China in the US but don't have a good idea of what life is actually like here on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and then for me, I also studied Russian history. My interest in Russia was uh, Russia's connections with other parts of the world, and Russia and China have a lot of history um, and a lot of interesting connections. Um, in a lot of ways, Russia is also kind of demonized in the US and has always been weirdly in between West and East. Um, and I got to be in France last year, which was kind of the West that people in Russia um, aren't often totally identified with and so I was curious about what was further east um, on the other side of Russia um, to get a bigger picture of like what west and east might mean not that those are necessarily very productive terms but um, yeah so some curiosity from my own study of Russia and comparing that with China. Um, it's fun. It's very interesting. We are in a pretty small town where we are, I believe, the only foreigners. Um, the school, what that means is that a lot of the students are very, very excited about having us as teachers. So teaching the classes is usually very fun. They get pretty excited and interested in um, what we have to talk about and they're very interested to learn more about American culture. Um, so that's really fun. Uh, the town is very interesting, it's very beautiful. I think um, in some ways it's a little bit difficult to be in a smaller town instead of a big city, but in a lot of ways it's a very good thing because I think we see more of a um, unique local culture than if we were in a city like Shanghai, which is very international. Um, and also hopefully it will mean we get to practice uh, our Chinese more. <laughs> yeah, I would say in a lot of ways it's easier than I expected, I think, um, which is partly because people are so welcoming. Um, we're always being taken care of and taken places, so there's been a lot less um, having to figure things out on my own and stumbling around than I thought there would be. Um, which is nice, but I think we're also starting to be ready now to do more on our own, which is also going to be good. Um, and yeah, I think day to day is easier than I expected, um, partly because those interactions aren't as hard because everyone's so welcoming and um, makes it easy for you. So that's been easier than expected. Um, and there's definitely a lot of staring and a lot of excitement about us being foreigners, which has also been interesting because I've never had that really. I, I don't think I've ever traveled somewhere where I've looked visibly really different from everyone. Um, so that's been new for me too. Maybe more specifically, all of the times that we get to go to things with people in the town. Um, that you wouldn't get if you were just maybe studying in Shanghai or Beijing. Um, like for example, on the National Day, we went to a performance that um, the town put together with students here. Um, 
because someone just happened to invite us and had a daughter who was in it. Um, and it was fun and interesting to be able to see something like that, which you, which was, you know, only people from the town attending and then us, um, or just joining people on their family trips here and there has also been really fun. Um, so I think my favorite part is um, moments like that where we get to do little things with people who live here that you wouldn't see or do on your own while traveling as just a foreigner. Communicating with the students is pretty easy. They actually have a pretty uh, good understanding of English. Um, they've learned a lot of writing and reading, and they have some pretty good listening skills. They just are very shy about speaking, um, and people, like Hannah mentioned earlier, are so friendly, and they're often very excited to talk to the foreigners in the town that they will um, try very hard to make sure we understand each other, or they'll say the few words of English that they do know, and we will kind of go back and forth pointing and gesturing if we can't communicate better. My favorite thing that's happened so far is um, when Michael came back after a class one day and told me that a girl, um, one of the students, had come up to him and asked where I was and he said I was at home um, and she said she had a really important message she had to pass on to me and asked him if he would tell me for her um, and he was like okay I can tell her I'll probably see her later and the girl just said tell her I love her um, and when he told me about that later and that the girl was in class 19 I think I hadn't taught that class yet ever um, so <laughs> so they're really excited uh, so Xiaobing is a very important <laughs> local food you know Xiaobing and there are lots of different shops that sell it all around uh, but there's a, one very close to the school that's just like around the corner outside of the school gate and so um, Hannah and I have stopped there a few times, like if we just want to grab something quickly. And um, the guy that works there doesn't speak any English, and we are still just starting to learn Chinese, and we do not speak very well. I can say like "iga" like for one, <laughs> just one shopping, and that's like about all we can say to him. But he's like kind of become our friend, just in that he gets very excited when he sees us. Or if we're walking past, he um, knows that we have shoving there a lot, and so he'll always like smile and wave at us and see if we want one today. And he like <coughs> um, tries to chat with us in Chinese, but every time it's like uh, we can't really understand each other. But it's still very nice, and um, he's always very happy to see us. So hopefully, I think in the next few months, a goal of mine is that we learn enough that I can have a conversation with him <laughs> because he seems like really excited to talk to us, um, but I just am not able to yet.